Welcome back to Learning Layer. Today on the Learning Layer segment, we're continuing our conversation with Joe Kerrigan as he gets ready for his CISSP. Mm -hmm. Joe, Domain 8. Domain 8. (laughs) The final domain. I have a degree in Domain 8. (laughs) Okay, so I don't even know why we're talking. Uh, No, no, you always got to study even even your strengths. And remember, I didn't do too well in the pretest in that. Right, and it's this thing, it's this weird thing where you have so much experience and, and so much knowledge, yet... Sometimes that real world experience doesn't translate to exam world, and ISE two might have their own <laughs> right uh, reality. Yes. So uh, let's do a question together. Okay. So why don't you start by uh, reading the question, and then we'll uh, do our usual thinking about it, and then go find the right answer. Okay. Go so ahead. The, the question reads as this: At which step of the SDLC, the Software Development Lifecycle, should security considerations be first integrated? That's the question. Okay, so actually, I, I know, I know, I, I asked you for some analysis. Let me do one thing of my own. Okay, from a from a uh, humanities major who used to be a speechwriter. Okay, weird syntax. Like, let's think about these what these words are actually saying. At which step should security considerations? So consideration is kind of a soft word, right? It's not like we're doing security necessarily. We're just thinking about it. Right. We're considering it. Yep. And then it says be integrated. So like, wh- I guess as somebody who's done, you know, or managed SDLCs before, what does like an integration mean? First thing I think when I see the word integrated is mm-hmm. I think about integrations and making uh, making two pieces of different tech work together. Maybe you're going to make some middleware or something, but that's, that's not what this means. This is okay. uh, at what point in time, at what part of the SDLC should you be considering security right. as part of the product? Uh, because you're going to have some kind of security stance on this product, regardless of whether you acknowledge it or not. It, it could be a terrible stance, if, and generally, I'll, I'll bet it. If you don't acknowledge it, it will be a bad stance. Yeah. So the question is asking: When should you start thinking about security, really, for whatever this project or product is? Sure. And the answer to that question is as early as possible. <laughs> As early as possible. As early as possible. Because if you go to the end of development and you say, okay, now let's make it secure, you have already done all the requirements gathering, all the designing, all the development, and maybe some of the testing. And now you're saying, let's patch on security at the end. That's what you're going to be doing is patching on security at the end. Yeah. You need to think about security as soon as you're... Uh, defining what the system is going to do. So my initial answer, as we say, try to, as you, you frequently remind me, try to pick an option. I'm going to say at the concept of operations, right, okay. which is part of the waterfall life cycle and also part of the systems engineering life cycle. Very first thing, you're coming up with a concept of operations. Security considerations should be considered there. Hmm. They should be integrated into that into that portion and that document that you're going to come up with. So... Bake security into the product. Don't right. bolt it on after. Yes. Why don't we read the answer choices? Right. So, the answer ahead. choices, number one, are functional requirements defining. Okay. Uh, which might seem like a good place, requirements definition. Sure. Um, that comes almost exactly after uh, concept of operations. Uh, then number two is initial uh, project initialization and planning. Ha-ha. Huh. So right at the beginning. Yeah. Right. Uh, testing and evaluation control. So that's all the way towards the end, okay. right? Um, and then system design specifications, and that's after requirements generally. Okay. So no, that's not good. Testing at the end is not good. Uh, functional requirements defining, maybe you're you're okay starting there, but I would say you're better off starting at project initiation and planning, that you put security in there as part of the the definition of the system. I have two sort of reactions to this question and how you approached it. Okay. The first is, you know what's interesting? Every single one of these steps has a security component to it. It does. But that's not what the question was asking. No. (laughs) The question is asking, when should you first do it? Right, right. My second reaction is, and this was hard, especially for me when I was studying 
domain eight without a background in it, some of the, I don't know, words or labels for the SDLC steps can get a little abstract. Yeah. And, you know, everybody sometimes has a different name for it. Right. So you can still get this question right without, you know, fully memorizing or being familiar with what happens in all the steps. Meaning, taking your prephrase of as early as possible, Right. you just need to ask yourself, which one of these is early? Which one sounds like it happens first? <laughs> do right. you do a project planning first? Or do you do a functional requirements first? Well, it makes sense. You probably need to scope out the project first and think about it and plan. And then functional requirements might come after. Right. So without knowing what happens, I would pick B as well. Yeah. That's what I would say. All right. And let's find out what the right answer is. Drum roll. Nailed it. Nice. Okay, good. And it is B. Very good. So I'll give you the final word since it's domain eight. Any... Parting thoughts. Yes, I do want to say something about what you said yep. uh, in that there is security in all of these things. So you're going to be, when you're developing some kind of software project, there is something called a requirements traceability matrix, an RTM, that takes um, takes your code or your, your, your behaviors or your use cases all the way back. Everything goes all the way back to the requirements, which eventually points, which will also point back to something in the concept of operations. So you're right that... Uh, system design should have security components in it. You, mm -hmm. you should definitely be testing and evaluating uh, the entire, the entirety of the software, including the security uh, that yeah. is implemented. And you should be able to trace those requirements all the way back to the requirements and even before then to the concept of operations. All right, Joe. We are, we keep saying we're in the home stretch. We're actually in the home stretch. We're actually now, done with the material now. <laughs> now it's just time for practicing and taking the test. That's right. And everything will come together. It feels like ages ago when you started Domain <laughs> it <does> 1. Indeed. <laughs> so it's time to reintroduce it and blend it all together.